Welcome back Interior Sports fans, Joe Cook here with the Christmas Eve Sports Cast. There will be opportunities for avid runners, casual runners, and skiers wanting to burn off some of those holiday calories. Running Club North will be holding the full moon run on Christmas Day. The run is free and it's at 5 p.m. at the Patty Center. There will be a festive holiday four mile course. Then next Thursday, they will have the New Year's Eve run. That will start at 11.30 p.m. at the diner on Illinois Street. Registration will be at 11 p.m. You can ring in the new year with the three mile run along the Chena River. Both holiday running events are free. And if you rather ski then this Saturday, you can go out to Birch Hill Recreation Area and participate in the family oriented Wentz Orthodontic Ski Your Age and Kilometers event. You can ski as a family, father and son, mother and daughter, and so on. It's free and it starts from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. the day after Christmas. Underdog stories are always great, especially for this time of year. In 2015, two stories of interior teams overcoming the odds stand out as we continue our year in review. Back in June, the West Valley Wolfpack baseball team finished the regular season as the runner-up in the Mid-Alaska Conference for the third straight season. As the state tournament brackets were set, they had to face the Ketchikan Kings. The Kings were the Southeastern Conference champion, a number one overall seed. They even had the Alaska Gatorade Player of the Year and Nathan Bonk. On the opening day of the state baseball tournament, the West Valley Wolf Pack pulled off a huge upset. With just 10 players, they beat number one seed Ketchikan 4 to nothing to advance to the state semis for just the second time in program history. West Valley ace senior Tyler Chrisman threw six Ks on 112 pitches in a complete game shutout. Casey Hendricks gave up three earned with seven walks for the Kings. Blake Sorthout hit the game-winning RBI in the top of the second for West Valley. The Pack got a three spot in the top of the sixth to pull away with two walked runs and scoring on a wild pitch. The Wolfpack lost their next game to the eventual state champions, the Chugach Mustangs. Here's West Valley head coach Mark Wade, who provided a little motivation for his team, and it resulted in a remarkable win. This is the most gratifying win I think I've ever had as a coach. I kind of told him the David and Goliath story. You know, the kids just played above themselves. They believed in themselves and made every play that had to be made. Before the game, I promised them a steak dinner, and now I owe them a steak dinner, and they're all excited. <laughs> Now we rewind the clocks back to Valentine's Day weekend when the Nanak hockey team proved that they were better than the number one team in the nation. Earlier in the 2014-2015 season, Alaska split a pair of games against number one Minnesota State at their house. All the stars aligned for their second matchup of the season. The Nanak hockey team had a storybook ending on their senior night. Hosting the top-ranked Minnesota State Mavericks at the Carlson Center, seven seniors were honored before the puck drop. The Mavs looking to be spoilers scored on a power play in the second period to break a 0-0 tie. Alaska would respond in the third. Tyler Morley, he tied the game with a shorthanded goal 41 seconds into the last period. Later, senior Garrett Perry scored what would be the game winner. Morley added an empty net tally as well. Senior goalie Sean Cahill makes 24 saves and Alaska wins 3-1 over the Mavs on senior night. UAF wins the season series 2-1-1. Alaska became the only team in the country to have a winning record against the number one Mavs in at least two games. Just a lot of memories have come back over the course of being here and um, it's been uh, honestly the best time of my life. This was a big win for us. It was a big weekend for us and it's the last homestead, uh, home stand. Um, but I really want to win the Governor's Cup and so do these guys. So. Uh, the Nanooks would clinch another Guff Cup in March. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for watching. Mike Schultz is next with your full holiday weather forecast. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Stay with us.